From becoming the NBA Rookie of the Year in 2020 to winning the NBA's Most Improved Player Award in 2022, Memphis Grizzlies star John ja Morant has really developed into one of the NBA's most highly rated stars, which has led to many people tipping him to be the new face of the NBA. However, his recent antics might end up making him the face of something completely different, a mugshot. Now, there's no denying the fact that Morant is talented. The 23-year-old joined the Memphis Grizzlies back in 2019. After being selected by the franchise as their second overall pick, even at the time, there were no doubts about his ability with the ball. While his performances were praised right from the start of his NBA career, he has really switched things up and taken his game to a whole other level since the start of last season. Having averaged close to 18 to 19 points per game in his first two seasons in the NBA, he's been averaging over 27 points per game since then. Because when you're below, the way that you move up or the way that you start to increase your stature is by beating these type teams, as Mr. Morant says, but I'm not done yet. This season so far, the point guard has also averaged six rebounds and 8.2 assists per game. And let me tell you this, these stats don't even begin to tell the story of the impact he has on his Memphis team. He's absolutely electric on the court and often attacks the rim like he has some personal beef with the basket. And it's showing as Memphis sits second in the Western Conference. Face of the NBA or not, Jean Morant was definitely destined to be the face of the Memphis Grizzlies for some time to come, and that trust in him by the Grizzlies was apparent in their decision to hand him a bumper contract ahead of the new NBA season. Jaw slams on the brakes, got inside, light work. And that's incredible, like his shot making as he's... The 23-year-old point guard signed a five-year extension, which includes a guaranteed payment of $193 million, but could also eventually rise up to $231 million, depending on certain contingencies. And while the franchise showed their faith in him, Morant has definitely repaid it with his performances on the court. He led the Memphis side to a remarkable record of 38 and 25 in the league and they comfortably sit in the second position in the NBA's Western Conference having made playoff appearances in the last two seasons there's pool stripped by Brooks Moran having deep attempt to look either way count it and a foul John Moran the Grizzlies look all set to make it three playoff appearances in three seasons. They must have been looking forward to going further than last season, where they lost to the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference semifinals. However, their plans for the rest of the season might take a strong hit, as their superstar point guard, who has basically been a walking highlight reel for his actions on the basketball court, has suddenly come under fire for his actions off the court. And all of this could very well end his super promising career. Nah, all that stuff, you know, pretty much false. Um, it's been proven. Uh, that's all I got to say on it. First, it was a physical altercation with a 17-year-old boy. There have often been reports and accounts from the people who are close to the Memphis Grizzlies superstar that he has the tendency of going off the handle, from being physically violent to getting into arguments with people and actually threatening to harm them. An incident from last summer, which didn't come to light at the time, was reported by the head of security at a mall in Memphis. He told the police that John Morant threatened him during a parking lot altercation. The man reported the incident to the police but as per the records, no arrests were made. According to his account to the police, a member of Morant's group shoved him. Morant's mother got into an altercation at the Finish Line store. It is alleged that Morant soon showed up with as many as nine friends and threatened the mall's director of security. Just four days after that incident, the Memphis Grizzlies man also got into a fight with a teenage boy during a friendly game of basketball in his local area. According to the reports, Morant hit a 17-year-old boy repeatedly with punches after getting into an argument with him. The teenage boys recalled that Morant and one of his friends hit him so forcefully that they left him on the ground, apparently with a huge knot on the side of his head. And this bizarre incident doesn't end there. The boy also told police that after striking him repeatedly, Morant went into his house and re-emerged with a gun tied to his waistband. After returning with the gun, Morant pointed towards the gun in an attempt to threaten the young boy. Morant was accused of punching a 17-year-old boy in the head repeatedly during a pickup game at Morant's house.
However, there have been no indications in the evidence gathered by the police that point toward the presence of a gun. But going by Morant's reputation, presence of a gun is definitely not out of the question. I mean, I have genuinely enjoyed John Morant playing basketball over the last couple of years. But what is difficult for me to understand is why would someone who has such a bright future like him do all of this? Cause if you ask me, he has no reason to be doing any of this. Like when you have the whole world at your feet like him, it's honestly beyond me to defend or even understand his actions. And just as news has started coming out about his physical altercation with a teenage boy last summer and the legalities involved with that, an Instagram Live video has also gone viral where the Memphis Grizzlies superstar can be seen partying in an unknown strip club. While NBA players are no strangers to partying at strip clubs, Morant actually managed to get himself into more trouble. He was seen in the the video holding a handgun in his hand with the intention of displaying it. This comes at the worst of times, as Morant was already under a lot of scrutiny from the media, with people continuously lamenting him for his reckless behavior. And there were further repercussions as well, with the 23-year-old being suspended for two games. But it seems like the two-game ban might turn into a longer break from the game in an attempt to get his act back together. As he mentioned in his statement that he takes full responsibility for his actions. However, the people around the NBA aren't exactly impressed by Morant's antics. Like one fan even called him out for dying to ruin his career. Well, this sort of reckless behavior was never going to get the two-time NBA All-Star a lot of admirers, especially the Memphis Grizzlies fans, who wouldn't at all be happy about Morant putting the franchise's season in jeopardy. And they definitely let their feelings known on Twitter. One fan tweeted that the two-time NBA All-Star is dying to ruin his promising career. Another fan tweeted that Morant is a great basketball player, but also a tremendous idiot. While there were also sarcastic tweets about him becoming the first man wanting to leave a promising NBA career to become a full-time hood, which is a little funny since most people look towards basketball to avoid getting embroiled in gang wars in their local areas. Journalist Jason Whitlock called the superstar out for destroying his career, trying to be Tupac Shakur. All of these antics can also spell disaster for Morant's deal with the sportswear giants Nike. However, up until now, Nike hasn't said anything about terminating their deal with the Memphis Grizzlies point guard. They released a statement in which they appreciated Morant for making himself accountable and also approved of his decision to take some time out of action to focus on getting some help. We support the prioritization of his well-being, said Nike. However, we all know how a little more bad press can make them forget about all this support. So Morant definitely needs to tread a little more carefully from here. That was all about the latest controversies surrounding John Moran.